All right, let's continue with our UV project. So I'm going to go to my show, isolate selected, uh, uncheck view selected so we can see it, the whole model. I think I'm going to isolate select just the roof. Uh, so before we did planar projections from uh, one of the coordinate axes, like a straight X, or, but this is at an angle. So what we want to do, we actually want to turn this face until it's as square as possible with the camera like until this is pointing as flat as possible with the camera and this is a another type of projection it's actually in the same menu set and I'm going to go here and I'm going to go UVs still a planar but instead of doing XYZ we can uh, shoot it from the camera itself so that's why when, when you position this camera you want to these sides to be as straight as possible you don't want a lot of perspective and let's select our object and I'm just going to do this front face here so I'm going to uh, in face mode hold down tab do a planar projection here with the camera project and uh, the projection width and height I'm going to take these up to seven and seven and so it's a perfect square and then I'm going to come around this side and kind of do the same thing the best projection I can get here uh, hold down tab and uh, I think I can hit G here yep G that'll repeat the last tool go and make this seven and seven Let's take a look at our UV editor and see what our uh, shells are looking like. We should have two. That's one. And here's the other one. And this one square is everything that's left. But I'm going to go into face mode. Just select these here. And this time I'm going to try an automatic um, mapping tool and see what we get with that. Sometimes it's, it, it works great, sometimes it doesn't. We may have to come back and do projections like we did the top. But I'm thinking this all may be one solid color, so our... Our projection may not be, our UV map may not be so important. But uh, let's see what a UV uh, automatic does for those. Okay. If I can. So we see the underside of our, our roof. We see the front ends of our roof. Uh, both of those look fine. Uh, what I think we should do is take this underside and just come up with these this edge should uh, be sewn on to the underside that that's probably the cleanest way to make this underside map so you'll see in a second so um, so let's take these edges here and we're going to sew them to those here I'm going to use the move and sew tool and just see what happens that worked nicely Let's try this and see if this works. Now it's important that this segment be the same length as this segment. If not, when you go to sew, it's going to be distorted. But these were set up right. Now if I try the same thing here, I believe, um, see how this is an angle and this is straight. If I try to sew those, you start getting some wackiness. So what we're going to have to do is just start here and do uh, one at the end here and we'll start there and so and uh, see how this segment is longer than that segment. So we've got some adjustments to do. We're going to grab the edge here and we need to cut this edge off and separate this piece. Uh, 
so just there's a cut tool we slice that tool and then we can grab the shell tool and because that segment's cut we should be able to move this around we can rotate it and we can probably go ahead and scale this and uh, you can go ahead and see where this is going to go this needs to go this edge needs to match up here this edge needs to match up here and this one needs to match up here so we're going to we've got some work to do all right and we'll get out of the select tool here select uvs what i was saying the point is here you, uh automatic mapping you do your best and sometimes you have to come and start moving these around so I'm lining that up and now I can go and grab that edge and sew it and that's fine uh, I'm gonna pull this a little closer I might have to move this out of the way they don't like to overlap when they're in shell mode but you're gonna have to move some uh, UVs around so these are about the same length grab these bring those about the same length and let's see what that does for us we'll sew these together let's go ahead and finish this then we'll take a look at how the distortion problems we have because there will be some problems uh, I can already tell but I'm just going to uh, jump and do the other side just like we did uh, here. Just going to go ahead and move that and grab these UVs and these UVs. Just using those same uh, move scale rotate tools we've always used and then we sew those edges together um, and the way we check for distortion here is the checker tool and I'm afraid we're gonna have some pretty bad distortion on the edges and we do see what's happening here uh, like I like I was thinking this um, we could fix some of that but if we did then we, we might introduce something called overlapping UVs like we could take this edge here and cut it and grab our vertices and have this one overlap like that and this one overlap like that to get those angles that they needed and uh, and this is these are starting starting to see I can I can move that around until these start to look square again okay same thing here and there now, uh, overlapping UVs can be a, a problem later on. So what we may want to do is uh, go ahead and separate uh, this whole piece in the center here. You know, cut these and then and just say, "Hey, let's try that again." And uh, cut those. And now, see if we can. And, and separate these and that way these won't be overlapping and that still preserves this shape here uh, like I said this is likely going to be one color so we can probably live with that the last thing we need to do is uh, though is change this to the scale of this over here they're not the same scale and the way you would change the scale is you would pick one of these edges and these out of the shell tool we want to pick one of these edges here and these need to be the same length and see how that's a bit shorter so we need to either scale this one down or this one up 
just going to grab these UVs, kind of put them over here and scale that up until this line and that line, that edge, are the same size. Now I'm not going to sew these together. All right, so see those are the same now. Now if we if we come back and look, see these squares are a lot more similar to those. They're still a bit bigger. So uh, that looks about right there. All right, that's a good place to end this tutorial. I know it was a long one, but UV maps get tedious, and there's a lot of steps, and it's just uh, one of those technical, tedious things. Um, you know, uh, it looks decent on this side. Wow. Actually, before I end the tutorial, let me adjust some of these UVs on this other peak here. If you notice, uh, square those up so they're uh, they don't have that distortion